So, y'all came to see another spiritual vid. I'm gonna clap it up, y'all. I'm proud of y'all. You feel me? Y'all join the little spiritual vids I'm doing. But, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, the big question, man. How to find y'all purpose? Y'all, I wanna say this. Y'all purpose is not something that is just out there. Your purpose is not something that's just, you gotta just, it is something you gotta find, but it's not something just out in the universe, like how to find your purpose. Like you're not just searching for clues and stuff, you feel me? Um, That's how I used to think. I used to think like that a lot, you feel me? Like the thing with me is I used to want everything young. Like I wanted everything when I was 14, when I was, 13, 12, I wanted everything young, and you gotta just realize that patience is key, you feel me? And God gonna, God gonna bless you at the right time. God gonna bless you when you need to be blessed, when it's most needed, you feel me? And um, yeah, it all makes sense in the spiritual realm, it all makes sense to Jesus, and that's all that matters, you feel me? Um, But yeah, man, how to find your purpose. Basically, y'all uh, y'all just gotta do the stuff you love, man. And if you, if you don't know if you're stuck in the middle, you just do something you like and then continue doing that and then experiment with it. Like try different things with the same thing. Like if you like rapping, try a different type of rapping. Um, but then like if you continue that, right? You continue the stuff you just like because you don't know anything that you love. If you continue the stuff you like and you end up loving it, hey, that's like your purpose, you feel me? But um. If you if you continue the stuff you like and you don't end up liking it, you can just go on to the next thing that you like, you feel me? And even if if it gets to a point where you don't even know what you like, bro, just experiment with things, you feel me? Do stuff that you think you wouldn't want to do. Like me, I personally cannot draw. I can't draw at all. Um, I suck at drawing. Um, I don't like to say I suck at things because you can always better yourself. Um... But yeah, I would never think I would be a, a, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to just say a drawist. I would never think I would be drawing. And that couple of days ago, I mean, before I left for the trip, not a couple of days ago, before I left for the trip, um, I had just grabbed a paper. My my mind was just like, let me just draw something right quick. Like sometimes your mind would just give you hints and you had to listen to that, bro. Like sometimes your mind would be like, I should do this. Nah. See, the thing is, y'all, when y'all doubt yourself, that is the devil. Because Jesus, he wants you to succeed. Jesus wants you to be your at your best. Jesus wants you to be at your best potential at all times. Jesus was never one to bash your dreams. He was never one. He wants you to succeed in your dreams. He wants you to be at an all-time high. And so when you're not serving your purpose, when you're not doing what you love, you are doing the world a disservice and you're doing Jesus Jesus a disservice. So that's just plain and simple, y'all. You, you're doing the world and Jesus a disservice when you don't do the things you love. And Jesus loves to have us speak through our voice. He loves when we when we can, you know, speak to the, our people, you feel me? On the spiritual realm, we are all brothers and sisters and we are all cousins. So, um... I'm probably going to make more videos on these too, but I'm going to just talk um, to get, you know, minutes up because I can't, I don't really think I can just talk about one topic the whole time. Um, but yeah, man, in the spiritual realm, our brothers and sisters is everyone around us because we are children of God, but our cousins is our ethnicity. So um, white people, they are my brothers and sisters, I mean, not my brothers and sisters, they're my cousins, you feel me? Um, black people, y'all black people would all be cousins, yo. Asian people, y'all all cousins, y'all Mexican, y'all y'all get the gist, bro. Y'all all cousins, and at the end of the day, we all related somehow. You feel me? We're related. Um, what's that called? Magnetic? Something about magnetically. We're all we're all connected. You feel me? Um, and yeah, man. Basically, y'all just how to find your purpose. Just do the stuff you love, man. Just go for it. Like, don't stop. You feel me? Because when you stop, that's the devil trying to get at you. Remember, Jesus loves you. 
the devil hates you. The devil doesn't want anything to do with you excelling. The devil doesn't want you doing anything that can help you unlock your true self. The devil doesn't want anything that can help you succeed in any type of way. He wants you at the lowest, you feel me? Um, yeah, and the same with, you know, doing the do. Um, beating your, you know what I'm saying? And same with girls, too. It's the same way. If you do that and you're rele you, you releasing all that energy, you feel me? And that's the devil. The devil wants you to release your energy so you don't have... So you just can't do anything in this world. Like, he doesn't... The devil doesn't want you doing anything in this world. Um, we are in the world of hell. Like, this is a world of hell. And Jesus gave us, gave us a chance. Jesus gave us eternal life. He died for our sins. And he lived a life, so... Uh, he lived the perfect life, you feel me? He lived a life that we can't, you feel me? And y'all just gotta realize that Jesus really is the one. Like, you can know Jesus, but if you don't know, know Jesus, he's gonna look at you when you get to heaven. Not to heaven, but at the gates. He's gonna look at you and send you straight to hell because he's gonna look at you like a stranger. It's like when you get to know somebody. It's like when you get to know somebody in real life, like... Let's say you're talking to a female or a dude, and they, yeah, not they, you're getting to know them, you feel me? You want to talk to a female or a dude, you're, you're wanting to get to know them. It's the same with Jesus, just get to know him, you feel me? He's going to treat you like a stranger if you don't get to know him. And heaven and hell is a real thing, y'all. I'm probably going to make another video on this, but it's a real thing, man. And just because you're spiritual don't mean you're going to heaven. Um... But yeah, man, how to find your purpose, man. Just do the stuff you love. Do the stuff you love. Yeah, do the stuff you love. Like, it's pretty simple, y'all. Um, do stuff you love. If you don't know what you love, if you're in the middle between two things. I was actually in the middle of two things. So yeah, when I was younger, I was in the middle of, you feel me, NFL. Um, wanted to go to NFL and YouTube, you feel me. And really, I think it was more because I was in a more football. I was in like a football environment. You feel me? I would always go to the field every day with my friends. I would always do that. So I was never really. Ex I was really never. I really never put forth the effort into YouTube as much as I wanted to. You feel me? Because I always had football in, the head, in my mind. You feel me? I always looked. I kind of looked at YouTube as a backup plan, but I didn't because I wanted. I knew I wanted to do YouTube full time. But I also knew I wanted to do NFL at the same time. So with that, man, you really just got to experiment with one. You have to pick one. Like, that is your choice. Like, it, hey, that is y'all choice. Like, you have to pick one, you feel me? That's nothing to do with Jesus. That's you. So, any tips on that, man? I w do the one you feel is most realistic. So don't. You can do anything, but y'all know if it's not realistic, bro, if it's not as realistic in your situation or whatever, don't go for it if you have two options, you feel me, that you both love exactly the same. Like I did, I loved the NFL being, you know, I love the thought of being in the NFL and I love the thought of being a YouTuber, you feel me? And so I also thought, oh, I can just be a YouTuber while playing in the NFL, you feel me? Everybody has their thoughts. I'm not going to keep on going with that thought. Um, but yeah, man. It's basically how to find y'all purpose, man. Do the stuff you love. And if you don't do that, do the stuff you like and experiment with the stuff you like. And eventually, you'll find something that you really love doing. And yeah, man. <laughs> That's it, man. It's basically how to find your purpose. If y'all did enjoy this video, man, make sure y'all hit that sub button. I'm not going to ask y'all to do the rest because y'all already be doing the rest. And uh, yeah, man, I love y'all, man. Uh, God bless y'all, bro. And uh, yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video, bro. Peace.